our takeaway from the performance. But uh, as far as where these guys go from here, with, let's talk about matchups. We have to talk about matchups. Uh, we'll start with Connor, then we'll go down the road. So Connor definitely has some rebuilding to do. Um, psychologically, you have to take into account that he didn't do any trash talk. He didn't. He accepted the loss better than he should have accepted it. Really, at, at the end, and not saying that he shouldn't have been cordial, but he even said at the press conference, "This loss doesn't bother him." And and it's like, if you look at his life, all the you know, he's accomplished basically everything in the sport that you really can accomplish. Yeah, first double double champ, a consecutive double champ. Um, you know, beaten some of the best in the division, mm-hmm. made tons of money, businesses, family, a third kid on the way. Mm-hmm. You know, it, what what more is really there to do in MMA when, and I think that kind of mentality, that comfort, it's like, I I don't think that it, he's translating. Like he's not mentally, physically, he might feel good and willing to compete, but mentally, that fire is just not there. Dustin still has that fire because even though he's been in the trenches and and held his position, he still feels like he's got something to prove because he doesn't have that title to his name. He doesn't have that title reign legacy. He's not making that big time money yet, so he's got. A hunger. Yeah. Connor doesn't have that hunger anymore. Yeah. So Connor's one got to change up his strategy going in and he's got to change his mentality. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be a big obstacle for him. Mm-hmm. If he were to retire right now, I don't think anybody would hold it against him. It'd be like, hey, I just don't have, you can be truthful. I don't have the fire. And this is not a game that you play with if you don't have the fire. So mm-hmm. I'm bowing out. And there you go. Let, let, I'm gonna let the the rest of the the younger guys come up and do their thing. I'm, I'm my time is done in the sport. Right there you go, and be an ambassador and make your money and do all this other shit and people will love you. Um, if you're gonna battle, I think battle is right now is the time to do it. If you don't, um, although I think he I favor him pretty good if he can get shit together against Tony and Gaethje. I think he can hold his own against both of those guys. If he gets his shit together, um, and he still has to get his shit together for Dustin and Diaz, and those, I think, matchup wise, money wise, the safer fights in a way, are those trilogy matches, and he's got two of them lined up. So those are the ways to go for him. If he were to take one of those off, you know, off fights like Gaethje or Ferguson, uh, I would, I don't know, I'd probably go with Gaethje. He's a more predictable fighter. Yeah. Um, I don't know. You agree with that? Or sorry, Dustin. What, what what are your thoughts on Connor? Let's just actually. What are your thoughts on Connor first? Sorry, where um, do you think he should go? I think I know. Like he wants that third fight with Justin Poirier. Yeah. Um, but I just don't think he deserves it. I think uh, the fashion how he lost that fight. He got he got stopped. Yeah. I don't think he deserves a, a trilogy fight with, with Dustin. I think Dustin should fight. For the vacant title against Charles Oliveira, yeah, okay. And I think he should. I think that should be the fight next for Dustin. I think Connor doesn't deserve Dustin. I think he should let Dustin fight for that title and have Connor trying to work his way his himself his way back to the title. So I think Dustin. I mean, I think Connor should fight either Nate Diaz mm-hmm. or maybe um of Tony, Tony Ferguson. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Yeah, like one of those two guys. Yeah. But I don't think he should fight Dustin. I think Dustin should fight for the big title. Yeah. I think Dustin's done enough to prove that he should be fighting for that title. He's done more yeah. than enough. And he should fight Charles Oliveira yeah. for that big title. Um I think so too. I mean, I I don't know. What I would what I, if I was Dustin, I would let Chandler and Oliveira fight for the number one contender. I would let, Ooh. yeah, I would I would let them fight for the number one contender. I think Oliver kind of proved it, right? That he's the number, that he's the guy. He has by beating beating Ferguson, but the way Chandler, his reputation, his resume, mm. and the way he took out Hooker, mm. that that might 
that puts him right in line for that neck and neck with Oliveira. Plus, he's a bigger name and a way more marketable person than Oliveira is. So it's like, so when you put Justin, I think like, I think he should fight Justin for the vacant title. If Dustin already favors a trilogy fight with Connor or a money fight with Diaz. And it's kind of personal with Diaz. I think they've gone back and forth a lot. Yeah. Um, if we're going to look at rankings, then yeah, Oliveira's got to be the one. But I don't think he's going to get it. No. I, I, I don't think he's going to get the title shot. I, I think Dustin's going to make them sit out. I think he's going to do... Hmm. I don't know. Because Dustin mm-hmm. wants to make money. So right now is the time for Dustin to make money and maximize his 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 celebrity profile. He's He's got that Connor rub. He's got to maximize it. Mm-hmm. The way you maximize it, you take out Diaz or you take out Connor again. Yeah. And you or you risk it against you See, know, very dangerous no, contenders. I mean, I mean, you're right. I just don't like the idea that, he, that he's going backwards instead of going forward. Yeah, but he's in a position now where he can call shots. He can call his shots, yeah, and make that money. Hmm. He doesn't have, you know, the UFC's going to call him and ask him what he wants to do, you know. Yeah. So I don't know. Oliveira is not a big enough name to really, yeah, demand that no, that I mean, title. You're, you're right. I mean, even if, though he deserves it, if tomorrow they announce Oliveira and Poirier, people in the casual are going to say, "Who in the fuck is Oliveira? Who the fuck is Oliveira?" Yeah, if they give it, they Chandler made a big name for himself on the on a big card and people would be like oh that guy oh yeah that, that that's a good fight so as, as or, far as money wise do you think are, are you gonna challenge to fight connor if i was connor i'd probably stay away from that right now <laughs> <laughs> just because connor needs connor needs a little bit of time and a good fight like a diaz mm-hmm. fight to get him going again if he really wants to do it yeah you go fight killers like Oliveira and Chandler right now. Right now, it's not the time to do it. You need to you need to be all there to fight. I think, those guys. I think Ferguson would be a good matchup just because Ferguson has a name and there's a there's a bit of a rivalry there. But I can go either way. Yeah, yeah. So I I would if I was Poirier and I could get that Diaz fight, I'd probably do the Diaz fight. I'll let Connor sit out. I would let it have. I'd force Connor. him to sit out. Or take the Ferguson fight, hmm. Connor but but let's let's say Con- let's say Connor sits out, mm-hmm. and Poirier gets that Diaz fight that he wants, mm-hmm. makes that money. You have Chandler and Oliveira fight for the number one contender, and then you get <sighs> Ferguson and Hooker. I don't know, man, because it's it's, it's weird. If, if Poirier beats Diaz. Diaz is the you X know, factor. Diaz is the fact that yeah, that was a, the, the monkey thing, in the wrench. He's the, a monkey in the wrench. The thing is, if he does or fight, and, whatever. Dustin bites Nate Diaz, and, and obviously, he, if he beats him, then he lose that. He lose that in that Connor and, and Nate Diaz fight. I know. I don't. I think a lot of people a don't bigger, see that's Diaz a bigger fight. Being Poirier. No, no one sees Diaz being Poirier. But I'm saying, like, that's what I'm saying. Once Poirier smashes Nate Diaz. But there, it, there goes that Connor fight. No, Diaz. but but I think no, I think because I think if Diaz beats Poirier, but that, that makes that makes the Connor Diaz fight even bigger. But that's not gonna happen. We all know Nate Diaz doesn't get and his then, to him. And then yeah, and then if Connor Connor wants to fight Poirier, which I think he will, because it he needs to avenge that loss, so he'll definitely give Poirier a rematch. Yeah, I think Connor and, and Poirier are, are are destined to to meet one more time. Yeah, I just like, I don't like to. I rather have Connor fight Nate Diaz t- just because that fight's on the table and it's still relevant and yeah. people are so excited about. So what? I I I just think that Poirier will just kill off Diaz and then that fight between Connor and Nate won't be as intriguing. The reason or, I the reason I'll take out Diaz out of the equation is because he's so wishy washy. You don't know if he's gonna actually take the fight. He always says, oh, they're not giving me my money, something like that. Yeah. So if I was Poirier, I would sit out. I would, I would I would let Connor and Nate be, fight it yeah, out. Perfect. I would let Oliveira and Chandler fight it out. I'll let Ferguson and Hooker fight it out. I'll let those guys fight it out, I'll, 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 and I'll, I'll go on vacation. Being inactive, I think he right now yeah, he wants to be active. But I, but I think he's he'll be inactive for probably most of the spring. But come summertime, he's got his pick. If you can, if you could do Chandler and Oliveira, and you could do Diaz and Connor before summer, 
you got, you, you got, I think Connor fights in the summer. You got Con- yeah. You don't you think he doesn't fight till summer? Yeah, I think so. I think it's too soon. Man. There's so many matchups you could you could there's so many ways you could mix yeah. them I, up. I think I think you gotta, I think for me, you gotta put Poirier and, and Oliveira for that title. I mean in terms of like MMA you know, rankings and hierarchy and, and like the way it should go. Yes. But the way I think just it's going to go. Oh, yeah. You, you, you gonna, have three big names over him. Yeah. Over him just because right I don't know. Like, I doubt Connor. Do you think Connor is really going to fight before the summer? I, I, like we're, I think there's a good chance. We're, we're in February. I think. Summer's like three I think, months away. I think by May. I can see him fighting in May. I don't know. I can see him fighting weekend? in May. Yeah. I can I see him fighting in May. We'll see what happens. I, I, I don't see how I, I, I see him fighting somewhere like it, the July card. Yeah. It all depends on what, honestly, it really all depends on what Poirier wants yeah. and what he can negotiate with the UFC. Because yeah. he can tell him, I, I don't want to fight Oliveira and Chandler. I mean, if Dustin fix Connor, I think I think he does fight before summer. But, but if uh, he doesn't get that fight, and you know, Nate's not going to want that. I don't know. I don't see yeah. Nate coming back either. I don't see Nate coming back either. I think it's all talk. Yeah. I, I, for me, Let's say let's say let's say Nate doesn't come back. Let's say you take Nate out of the equation. I would do Hooker, Ferguson, Oliveira, Chandler, Poirier, Connor, three in May. Yeah, I'll do those. I'll no, do, yeah, those, I agree those with, will be my fights. Yeah, I agree with that. Just because Nate Diaz kind of you don't know everything. you don't know if he's going to commit or not. Yeah, you, Nate Diaz is the one that throws everything out of whack. He does. So if you take that out and of the equation, even even if let's say tomorrow he agrees to fight, yeah. Connor or Poirier, next week he'll probably go. No, nah, I'm good. Yeah. So he's the one that throws everything out of whack. But yeah. if you if you don't, I say you do the immediate rematch in early summer. Oliveira, Chandler, Ferguson, Hooker. All in one card, maybe. All in one card. Yeah. Yeah. But like all those throughout the spring. Yeah. There you go. That, that, yeah. Man. Yeah. Complex, but interesting. complex. But honestly, any of those matchups are just interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I really would like to see that Oliveira Chandler. That would be a That'd be a good one right there. I think Oliver <laughs> kills him. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah, but that'd be a good one. Yeah. That'd be a really good one. 